Welcome to your daily guidance. All right, time to guess again. Which card is it gonna be? Which card is it gonna be? So many of you are like, oh my gosh, that's the card I got this morning too. <laughs> We're all connected. We're all one, you know. We all go through the same stuff together too. Never feel alone. Sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. How funny because yesterday was about being magical and it was head of unicorn too. This is a totally different deck, you guys. <laughs> Go be magical and glow. Remember, watch the reading from yesterday if you need to remind yourself or if you didn't see it. It's time to manifest your clear intentions into reality out of your mind and out of, you know, out of your dreams and into real life. Look at fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So it's, you got to do this. You got to do this and you got to do it now. Look at your past life. You've had a past life with this person. You guys can do this. The situation involves past life memories. So maybe one of the fears that you have about going forward has to do with this. What is she holding? I have no idea. Um, but you know, you guys have got this, you guys know how to work together. You know how to play together. You know how to build a life together. You guys have done it before. You guys are aces. So know that, um, also something about the sorcery. It may be that in your past life, something may have happened when you went to go have a beginning with somebody that had something to do with witchcraft or something. Maybe you got in trouble or maybe um, maybe your person was persecuted for being a witch or, you know, something, something like that. It's made you sensitive to it, you know. It's made you sensitive. So, but that divine passion is pulling you forward. You know, you just can't help it. You're so drawn to this person. Be honest with yourself about what your tr heart's true desires are and go, you know, go toward that and go heal it, you know. You're meant to succeed with this person in this life. So just know that, you know, it's just subconscious fears. You can get right through them by staying present in the moment and getting out of your head and just going forward fearlessly. Prosperity is coming. So if you're worried about money, you're going to be prosperous with this person. That's just kind of the nature of it. Whenever you make a brave decision following your heart's desire and what the will of God is, then this comes. Any, everything and anything, a plethora of wonderful things and blessings start coming. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. So be open to receiving, right? Okay, and just know that you are protected as you go into this new home. This person is home to you. They're your definition of home. You, and you're making a healthy change in the occupants of your home by bringing this person into your life. And I just said something about moving in with the person, right? You are loved and protected and you are safe. Let me do a blessing for you guys right now to just give you a little added, um, you know. Oh, look at that. I was going to say a little added confidence that everything's going to be okay. And it's funny because you got the peace card and there's no need to worry. Everything is working out beautifully. It'll be fine. And your child's going to be just fine. No matter what somebody is threatening, it's going to be fine. You just have to have faith. Okay. Hamama and Atain K San se a lache eights, se si he came from Pomoma on Hai Shane, se pupupa and not ye lake ains, se she he pompa ama an Shane, se se la ha pomoma ha a k in la san se she came at a canes, he pupumoma ama an. Um, they just said also that sometimes you guys don't realize that you're being taunted by demons. Um, and that that's why you're doubting and that's why you're hemming and hawing and that's why you're going back and forth and back and forth and all that kind of stuff. So choose to come from love, choose to empower yourself, choose to meditate, choose to shut your brain down and just come from that place of love and you are going to get rid of those demons, you know, or, or do some energy work, qigong or something like that to get rid of the demons because things will be much, much easier for you and you will go through a massive transformation if you can get rid of those negative forces that are playing with your head right now. Okay, have yourselves a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.